Welcome to Face to Face, connecting theater makers to the public, a program from the Legacy Theater and SocialDistanceTheater.org. Welcome to Face to Face. This is our very first pilot program for our new initiative that we're doing through Social Distance Theater, which is a division of Legacy Theater. I'm Keeley, based in Knutson. I'm the um, artistic director and co-founder of Legacy Theater, and I'd like to introduce um, the other co-hosts of this program, Colin. Hi, I'm Colin Sheehan. I am the artistic coordinator and director of public relations at Legacy Theater. And Lauren? Hi, I'm Lauren Rosne, and I am the company manager at Legacy Theater, and I am also very excited to be beginning this journey with you both. So Legacy Theater, just to kind of bring you up to speed with what we're about, we um, incorporated in 2011 and uh, we did a feasibility study to determine where on the shoreline would be a good place to have a new professional repertory theater company. Um, we did a feasibility study and we learned that Brantford, Madison, or Guilford, one of those three shoreline towns, if we had a, a theater that was 350 seats or less and had a nice um, uh, professional theater, but also a teaching component, um, that it would be a a good thing. So we went shopping for a theater and we found that the Stony Creek Puppet House in Brantford, Connecticut was for sale. So we raised some money and we purchased that building and uh, that happened in 2013. And then over the years we had um, uh, to get the rights and approvals for zoning and, and whatnot and worked with the town. And then in the last uh, year we've uh, begun constructing. So we have these beautiful plans um, for a 127 seat state of the art theater and construction's going on right now, and we are uh, looking to open in November of 2020. So, uh, so far, all of the plans are still on target and building is still going on, even in this social distancing climate, and we look forward to opening our doors then. But in the meantime, we are, um, you know, trying to bring theater into people's living rooms the best we can. So to that end, we started the SocialDistanceTheater.org. Um, it is a website you can go to and find some links to different, uh, you know, wonderful interviews with Broadway celebrities and, um, and then links on, you know, even doing workouts in your living room with Broadway people. <laughs> um, so it's got a lot of different uh, uh, opportunities that you can see to, to still stay connected and see um, you know, what's going on with, with theater makers at this time. But it also has videos that people wanted to share about uh, theater or um, a rehearsal that they were in that got canceled or a show. Um, and we are aiming now with this face-to-face -face program to bring interviews of theater makers uh, to you. Um, so that's what we're doing during this time of social distancing. And we hope to continue this program once we open our doors um, at the Legacy Theater so that we can still have face-to-face -face interviews, but maybe hopefully they won't be Zoom to Zoom, but really face-to-face. -face. Um, Colin, what would you like to add about our program coming up? Well, I'm just very excited for the theater to open in November of 2020. And I did want to say that you are actually at the George Victor Artist College, right, Keely? Yes, I'm at the George Victor Artist Cottage. This was generously named by Jana and Tom Shea. Um, this cottage is right next door to the Legacy Theater. So if you were to look out the windows, you'd see the construction going on and of the um, former Stony Creek Puppet House. But in this building, this is, I'm sharing it with ORNL <laughs> that are the builders. And then there's a little office in the back here where we um, usually have our meetings, our team meetings with the staff. Um, but right now it's just me because we're doing social distancing um, but this has been used um, when it wasn't a building uh, headquarters for RNL it was used for visiting artists to come and take residency and compose and work on new works and we've had Zach Zadek and Drew Gasparini and um, several others that have that have lived here for a week or so created on our piano over there and then um, shared that work with high school students in the area and uh, and had little private concerts so we'll continue to use it as a residency as soon as we're uh, up and running. Yes, and that is really what I am most excited for. Um, well, not most, but it's cool to get a behind the scenes, like look at them creating their new work on a piano that lives in the cottage. And then it's going in their off-Broadway shows or Broadway shows or in a movie. It's, I, I love that. And I can't wait for some of my friends to come visit the Brantford area and, and have that opportunity. We all, especially now, need a break from New York City, but Brantford is so beautiful and the Stony Creek area is so beautiful. 
that I'm sure all of these artists would love a week or two getaway to create art. What's better than that? <laughs> That's great. Lauren, do you have anything to add? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I feel so lucky that, I mean, I know that given the certain climate that we're in, we haven't been able to have our in-person meetings, but, you know, every week, our meetings are in that cottage and to be able to go there and to see the improvements every week in the construction, it's wonderful. And I feel so hopeful for what legacy is going to be in years to come. So it's very exciting to see it in these beginning stages. Well, and I'm so fortunate to have the two of you working with me on that. The, um, there's calendars all around the walls here. We've been planning out what our future seasons are going to look like. And um, I know it's a, a somber time in regards to a lot of cancellations and a lot of plans undone at this time. But I know that um, it can also be a fertile time for planning and for uh, envisioning for the future and making, making strong decisions. So uh, that's kind of where we are now. Um, if you want to take part in being one of these, you know, interviewees that we do in face-to-face, -face, let us know. Um, you can reach us at info at socialdistancetheater.org, and it's theater with an R-E. Um, and uh, if you're a theater maker, if you, you know, on, on any level, um, or if you aspire to be, or if you, um, you know, want to tell us about your Broadway career or building sets at the local high school, we'd love to um, interview you and share it uh, to the public. We'll be doing email blasts and then archiving those videos on socialdistancetheater.org. Yeah, if you're a lover of the arts, uh, an usher, um, a composer, anything, come. Now, we're sitting at home, we're still <laughs> working, but everyone's sitting at home, we want to interview you. So please send us an email. The sky is the limit. We, we just want to talk and Talking to each other is what's going to make us get through this, and we'll come back bigger and better and have more art than ever. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Um, just before we go and, and get on to our other uh, interviews that we're going to have, um, I want to ask each of you, what have you been up to creatively since um, this pandemic has occurred? Has there been a way that you've been able to channel um, your creativity to create any art in a, in a new way? Um, for instance, right now I'm working on a song with Brad Ross in New York City virtually um, uh, to compete in a songwriting competition with the Jason Robert Brown song, songwriting competition for the coronavirus. Um, and it's been such an interesting experience to, you know, work uh, with a, a brilliant composer and pianist and, um, and me. <laughs> Um, but to try and do it virtually is, is really something. But it's been, it's been a great way to, to create and to emote and, uh, and, and you know, share what's inside. What about you guys? What have you been up to? I, I think it's exactly that. We've all been trying to, you know, keep doing theater, but virtually, which is, you know, theater is live. That's why we love it, because it's live entertainment. And we've been trying to now convert everything virtually because we need it in our lives. Um, so I've also, I mean, unfortunately, a lot of my shows that I was going to work on are now canceled. Um, but my brother, who's a freshman in high school, he's still continuing his high school theater rehearsals virtually. And, you know, there are 50 kids on this virtual rehearsal and they're all doing the dance moves. And I think people are just trying to find ways of staying creative and staying active and you know keep improving on this craft that we all have and love so just any way that we can to you know keep going and stay strong and stay healthy yeah i uh i do a lot of theater in the area i'm the director of the Brantford high school musical and we had to postpone sweeney todd and i was in rehearsals at Tabor arts Brantford for beauty and the beast jr and last night we actually had our first virtual rehearsal. We had 60 kids split up into two sessions and it was so great to see their faces. They were so happy. They needed it, but more importantly, we needed it. And the show must go on. So what I've been doing is planning when we're going to do all of these postponed events once the world is better and also the future, what's going to happen in all, in all the different theaters in, in the local shoreline area that I'm involved with. So, it's going to get better. 
It is. It is. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I, I'd like to tell you and to thank publicly um, the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven and also Oak Tree Development, um, which have both very generously sponsored this program. Um, and we'd love to hear from you. So again, info at socialdistancetheater.org. Uh, please get in touch and we look forward to seeing your interview soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us on Face to Face. We would like to thank our sponsors, Oak Tree Development and the Community Foundation for Greater New Haven and Brad Ross for the themed music. You can follow us on LegacyTheaterCT.org.